One of the most memorable moments in all of The Walking Dead is the scene where Shane sacrifices Otis in order to escape Cranwall High School. And to this day, people debate whether or not Shane was right to sacrifice Otis and whether or not the two could have escaped alive together. Now, I've personally discussed Shane's sacrifice of Otis on my channel, and I've also discussed if the two men could have escaped at that specific point in the episode Together and Alive. Long story short, I do believe Shane had no choice but to sacrifice Otis. If you'd like to hear a more in-depth explanation, simply check out those videos on my channel. That being said, many people have also claimed that Shane and Otis could have handled the FEMA camp raid a lot better. And you know what? I personally agree. I think it's perfectly rational to assert that had they been a bit more intelligent with their approach, they could have survived together, long before the situation even got dire. And I think the very best way to demonstrate this is to compare how Rick would have handled that situation. As I mentioned in my recent video comparing pre-season 3 Rick and Shane, Officer Friendly helped to discover the Walker Guts camouflage technique. He was also more tactically sound than Shane. A prime example of this being his understanding of the importance of stealth and ammunition preservation, while also even using blood to silently attract walkers in a creative way. Rick Grimes, barely out of a coma, was discovering shit and making high IQ tactical moves, whereas Shane was surviving for four to five weeks prior to Rick's arrival, and he couldn't even come close to Rick's ingenuity. Now, all of this matters because it implies, to me at least, that had Rick gone to the school in a hypothetical scenario, assuming someone else was giving Carl blood, that had Rick gone to the school with Otis, he would have utilized the Walker Guts technique. I say this because Otis already debriefed Rick and Shane about the state of the school's FEMA camp. Rick would already know the area would be swamped with the undead. Rick would also likely know to search for flares, just like Shane did if he noticed the cop car. This is because Rick was also a fucking cop and would know that he could find flares in the trunk of that vehicle. Rick also clearly knows that noises and lights attract the dead. All of this means that Rick and Otis would have had flares, which would attract the walkers while they opened the trailer's door. And by the time they were done, they could have opened the door slowly and walked out just like Negan and Gabriel. The only potential issue with the guts technique is that said technique would take time to implement especially because Rick would need to cover a small planetoid with the aforementioned guts. But considering that Shane and Otis ran a marathon across the school, spending what was likely hours at Cranwall, then I believe it would be safe to assert that the duo would have enough time to implement this strategy. Remember, it didn't take that long for the guts to be applied to Rick and Glenn. It didn't take a super long time for them to be applied to Negan and Gabriel as well. And it only took a ton of time for them to be applied to Rick, Carl, Michonne, Jesse, Sam, and Ron, because that's just how shit works. Six people is a hell of a lot more than two. It's just common fucking sense. Aside from the potential opportunity cost associated with this technique, the only other weakness would be rain, which never came during the initial raid. So that's a non-factor. All of this ultimately means that Rick would likely, or rather would almost certainly, manage to complete the mission without losing Otis. And to argue otherwise is just stupid given what we know. Although to be fair to Shane, I don't think anyone in the group at that specific time in the story aside from Rick and maybe Daryl would have been able to make it out of that school alive. To state that Rick would be better here is not to suggest that Shane is lame. But yes, Officer Friendly would have gotten the job done and he would have brought back Otis, the Colat Specialist. Anyways, if you enjoy this sort of content, please like, share, and fucking subscribe. Also remember that you may opine anytime if you feel so inclined down in the comment section. I'm Captain Gold and hope to see you in my next Gold Standard video.